This is Father Bob Hutmacher from our chapel at St. Peter's Church in the Loop. And the parish staff asked me to say a few words to all of you, a few words of congratulations as you finish your years at Ascension School. And we're certainly very proud of all of you as you head off to high school at OPRF or St. Ignatius, Fenwick, Lyons Township, Marist, Nazareth, Montini, and elsewhere. And I want you to know that I included that quick look at my own life from eighth grade on to Ascension in Oak Park, not to brag about schools and degrees, I don't need to do that, but to let you know that you can dream anything and do anything with the life that God has given you, anything. I'm sure that when I was 13 years old, I didn't know what Notre Dame was, maybe some kind of a football place, but I had no idea. I did know the Franciscan Friars, though, and life unfolds and brings surprises like this pandemic. And so, you know, when life unfolds, we have to accept the difficult days and disappointments, but at the same time, we also have to embrace the beautiful days and above all, good or bad days, we have to keep dreaming. When I was three years old, like this, nice little cowboy I made, huh? I never thought of music, but when I was four, I taught myself how to read music and play the piano at grandma's house. And here I am just a few years later, having made 13 albums here and in Italy and published all kinds of music. You know, life goes quickly. And so you just have to live each day as it comes. And here's a few pictures of you guys here at Ascension School over the past few years. A year or two ago, I heard a Navy admiral giving a speech at a graduation, and he said that one of the most important things that you can do every day is as soon as you get up and clean up, make your bed. You know, our moms taught us that, right? But this admiral, above all people, said, here's the reason for making your bed every morning. It's because you begin your day with an accomplishment. And if you can do one simple accomplishment, like making your bed, then that triggers something within you to use the potential that you have inside to accomplish many other things that day. And the rest of the day will be a result of doing things and using the talents and gifts that God has poured into your heart. So discover everything about you that's inside there. You know, I wrote my first piece of music, a little song, when I was, I think, a sophomore or junior in high school. And above all, have fun. Here is a good example. Now, I graduated from Notre Dame with a Master of Arts in 1981. And after our graduation ceremony, and I remembered nothing of it, uh, except the speaker was not the President of the United States, but a chemistry teacher, and I have no idea what he talked about. But after the graduation ceremony was over, a classmate and I went by the football field, and you know, that's kind of a famous place at Notre Dame, and we went inside, because it was open, and we went, well here, look at this picture. So we are on the 50-yard line of the Notre Dame field, and I played center, and my classmate Marquita, still in her cap and gown, was the quarterback. And I snapped the diploma and passed it on to the quarterback. And we were off and running with our master degrees. 
Have fun in life. Study hard, yes, and laugh a lot because this wonderful gift from God, your life, is delightful and it's supposed to be enjoyed. And the whole parish knows you've had to make sacrifices because of these very, very different days. But you know, you remember these as part of growing up, as part of life already. That not everything we do is easy. Not everything is gonna be perfect, but life is worth the energy you put into it by making your bed in the morning and then working and studying hard and above all, by loving God and loving your family and loving other people as much as you love yourself. Plus, I think there's something more coming from you for you in August, right? So my friends, thank you for the life, learning, and faith that you've given all of us over these last few years. And God will walk with you always as you turn the page to another chapter of your lives. You're young and have many, many wonderful things ahead of you. So embrace each day and keep dreaming. That's how we make the world a better place for all people to live. Keep dreaming. You are always with us, just like God. And may our God fill you with truth, goodness, and beauty. And from all of us in the family of Ascension, Congratulations and peace to all of you. Have a great life, my friends, and enjoy everything.